Hi, my name is Ben Gamble and I'm here to walk you through how to build a real-time betting application using Confluent Cloud and Ably Real-Time. Most large-scale betting applications end up with an architecture something along the lines of what you see in front of you. In this case we have uh, lots of users sitting at the top and they are connected via some type of real-time pipe to a back-end system, in this case running in Confluent Cloud on top of Kafka. Kafka is used here to provide the real-time infrastructure to allow you to connect your microservices, your betting odds, and your client management systems together in a scalable, durable way. Confluent Cloud hosts this for you to reduce the risk and increase the reliability of your system, allowing for effortless scaling and a serverless application running Kafka. Avely Realtime allows you to take this backend in Kafka and connect it seamlessly and infinitely scalably to your clients, whether it be on embedded widgets, betting pages, mobile applications, or even third-party vendors. It even gives a good way to allow you to power those dashboards behind the scenes to let you see what's going on with risk, to control your application, and to have client dashboards so that you can understand and view your application in real time. Now, what you see here is kind of three layers. In the middle, we have lots of topics which contain the information loaded in via cloud native connectors, which are hosted in Confluent Cloud from any kind of database, allowing you to build up kind of streams of data in from the information you need to make your odds, the fixtures of what events are going on, which people can bet on, along with information about who is present in the application and the bets they are making. Using services like KSQLDB to enrich this, and manage this, and also do fraud detection, you can build up a good view of what goes on inside your application. On top of this, your stream processing microservices can help you generate your odds, manage your risk, and provide data to your clients if they win, lose, require notifications, or manage their transactions. And this is where Ably comes in. With Confluent Cloud, you get a limitlessly scalable Kafka architecture running with zero overhead in your system. It's all managed for you. With Ably, we can connect that seamlessly to your client applications with no code and allow it to scale effortlessly to millions of users via our Kafka connectors and also to take that same real-time information back into your backend services via our Firehose connectors and publish it straight into the topics as needed. Now today I'm going to walk you through a slightly simplified version of this architecture. We are going to look at an Android application. It takes real-time odds off a Ably channel, which is analogous to a Kafka topic, via the Ably Kafka connector. And inside the Confluent Cloud, there is a KSQLDB powered microservice running, which does two things. This builds up tables of bets and streams that can be processed by microservices, in my case running in Python. What happens is, the odds are made and published. They are pushed up the odds channel, which point the Android app subscribes to these and generates a page to show you each of the latest odds as they change. Every bet is then logged in Ably via a separate channel, which is funneled back into Confluent Cloud via the bets topic via a firehose rule. Uh, push notifications can then be sent at will to allow you to basic also via either a Kafka connector or via more microservices to allow you to alert users to both bets, either to bet now because an event's about to start, or if they've won or lost. This can all be done with next to no code other than the Android application itself. Now let's walk you through it. Let's start with Confluent Cloud application. Now in Confluent Cloud we have two main topics, the odds and the bets, and these are, materi these are with a materialized view and a stream we've built in inside KSQLDB. The bets topic has got some simulated bets on it right now to basically allow me to demonstrate what you can generate via the Ably Firehose. Let's start with the odds. The odds are being generated by a microservice which polls KSQLDB to allow it to see what's going on. If we start looking at the messages, we can start to see the various messages come through which have a list of odds for the various cars in my fictional car race. As these things get pumped out, you can then start to see them appearing in real time inside Ably as these messages tick by. What you can see now is this is a view into this. So what we then have to do is build an Android app and connect it up. The 
key thing inside the Android app is the Avery connection. An initialization of the Avery library, which is our real-time library here with a key, and set up things. As you can see here in this line, I have enabled deltas. This is inline delta compression handled by the channel itself, which allows you to get the smallest version of the data delivered directly to your device meaning that we can optimize for both battery life on a mobile device and also performance by only shipping the tiniest piece of change. This can reduce the data volume easily over 90%, particularly as most of the actual structure of the message hasn't changed, only the odds. Here we show connecting up to the outbound channel called odds in a hierarchical namespace. So this is event one, and as you see here, we are getting each of these messages and updating a recycler view in Android to create these betting odds. We're also connecting to a published channel, which we're going to call an inbound, so we can subscribe to it on a wildcard. It's betting, it's a category and username. In this case, I'm not being very original and not fully data driving it as it's just a demo. Also on the published channel, I'm going to enter presence, which allows us to track where all our users are and exactly what they're up to. As you can imagine, in a full-scale application, your user would change their presence as they moved around the application, allowing you a real-time view into how wow, every single user is using your application. As we see here, as these messages are coming through on the topic we've looked at, we can enter the application. So the application currently is on this starting page, so we can activate the device and subscribe to push notifications. And so this allows us to see, and as we can see here, the device is here on the test push channel, this is the application ID you can see over here. And we can now send it push notifications. If we come back to this and we start looking at the inbound channel, there are no messages. But as we enter the betting view, one, the user enters presence. And two, they're now connected to the channel, which you can see up here as the transportation is now open. This is the Avely dashboard allowing you to look inside what's going on in your whole application in our debug control panel. Now, as I entered this, you can see that the odds are updating in real time. And if we go back to Confluent Cloud, these match what's coming out of the topics as the odds change. They've just been reformatted to look more like betting odds. Now, what is interesting is what happens next. When we start looking back over here and we start betting. As we click on these odds and start, start making bets, you'll see that the real-time messages come in here. They then are then piped via a firehose rule into Confluent Cloud. The key thing to note is that each of these actual bets is an event itself. So if we zoom in, you have a time-locked bet with the odds that was bet on at the time and who bet on it, which is attached to your username here. Now what this allows you to do is as the odds, as these bets come in, you can then enrich this data using KSQLDB or a similar stream processor with data from your user database, user knowledge of your user account and their balance to allow you to do a one-to-one -one transactional process. This means you can actually choose whether to accept lit bets or not because it might be in your favor too or it might increase your risk profile beyond a certain margin. The key thing here is the choice is up to you. And as you start to click on these things, you can see that the odds are changing. If I click slowly, but if I click quickly, I can get many bets in at the same level, proving that this is indeed real time of odds. Now, if we go into Confluent Cloud and then look actually at the other topics, which is best done through KSQLDB. KSQLDB is a very powerful stream processing tool, which I mostly am using here to demonstrate the exploration. So as you start seeing here, we have a bets stream, which we've created a table for, which is being used by the microservice. But if we go into the stream itself, we can see that these are all of the various simulated bets which are being fired via Avely. Um, they are all coming in with a variety of usernames because of random is easier. And if we pause it and zoom in, we can see the structure. Now, these are just created on a persisted query, which you can then see creates a table a bet which is then queried out. Now this allows you to do almost anything you want with the data and as you can imagine if we had more things coming in uh, as we saw in the big diagram you would have other streams other tables and, the, and you start joining them up and allowing you to do windowed snapshots into what you into this thing to allow you to do things such as fraud detection 
and also uh, again analytics and insight into how it all works. The key thing to note here is that this all scales limitlessly. As the Ably Kafka connector can have multiple jobs running in it, running off multiple topics, you can literally have an odds topic per event and then have multiple uh, have a connector publishing those to each one to a channel. As you scale out further, you can then have vets topics with greater numbers of partitions to allow you to have greater numbers of workers processing inbound bets, allowing each user to be notified one to one. It's important to note that like using the presence of users, you can use you can actually gain a greater insight and know where a user is in the application, know when they bet, and because of these various uh, time-locked events, you can then see how changing profiles and changing risk, and more importantly, changing odds drives user behavior, allowing you to then notify users on a one-to-one -one fashion. If you'd like to find out more about this, um, please look further into the, into the ROG as we go into more detail about how and why this is all built.